Hi, my name is Sally Mara. I'm the nurse educator here at Dia Medical USA. In today's episode, we'll be running part two of our simulation with the SimBody's EMS Man Mannequin. This time, we'll demonstrate how EMS Man can be used for skills validations in nursing simulation labs. Our last video exhibited part one of the trauma scenario with this mannequin, and today we'll be showing part two, the aftermath in the ICU unit. If you haven't seen part one, you can find it below. Due to this mannequin's hyperrealism, we do recommend viewer discretion before watching this video. This simulation is a skills validation, which means that students are expected to demonstrate a specific skill that I've recently taught them. In this case, it's a chest tube simulation, so they have to troubleshoot a problem with the patient's chest tube. Part of the basic nursing skill set that students need to learn is how to care for patients who have had amputations, how to care for that wound, how to wrap it appropriately, and also what student, what patients are going to be feeling after they've lost a limb. And the end of his stump, which is what's left of his leg, is actually perfect for dressing changes and for students to walk in and realize, oh, he's lost a limb, I'm going to have to consider that when I'm planning care for him. This SimBody's mannequin is an extremely beneficial asset for nursing labs. Educators can use EMS Man with SimLab Solution Skills Bundles and the SimVS Hospital Virtual Diagnostic Platform to create high fidelity simulations, demonstrations, and skills validations. If you would like to see more simulation videos like this one, we invite you to leave suggestions in the comment section below. We always love your support, so don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching! This was Tuesday Teachings, helping to bring our products into your practice.